Yes. Dang, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Who, who, who? On to another decade. On to, <laughs> oh, yes! Uh, On to the next decade. Yeah, see? You know. I do. She ready. He ready too. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay. I'm T. <laughs> and I am Tay. Thank you guys so much for joining us today for a special episode of Pillow Talk with T and Tay because today is our anniversary. Woo this is aired on 414, which is our wedding anniversary. We are at year number eight. Yeah. In our marriage. And we've been together be 10 years in August. Yes. Um, but year number eight in our marriage. And it has been a beautiful, beautiful journey. Yeah. I could not have asked God to give me anyone better to do life with. So yeah. I'm truly blessed to have you. Yeah, I'm blessed and to have you. A breath of fresh air. Yes. <laughs> Every day. Yes. Yes. Truly grateful. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy that we get to spend these eight years. We got to spend these eight years together. We get to spend many, 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 many more together as long as God will have that be. Yes, so That's I'm it. truly grateful. Um, so today's topic will be a cool one. Um, in honor of our anniversary, which will be going out a little later, um, to celebrate maybe we'll tell y'all we may do a small snippet of recording i don't know y'all know when i go out i don't be focusing on the camera and having it out and vlogging i gotta learn how to do it y'all first of all but i might share <laughs> don't do that i might we might share a little bit of what we do that night and how later on the night and see how we're dressed up and what we look like and all of that for you guys but if you don't see it on the next video then that means we didn't record. Yeah. But we're sorry. I might be on my Instagram. So definitely check out um, Shanti Speaks on Instagram. And I might post something there in honor of our anniversary. So you guys can see us there. Who knows? If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Just know we're going to have a good time. Because that's what we do with each other. We have a good time. Yeah. Hopefully. No, we, we always <laughs> have a good time. Uh, oh, goodness. Just amusing, that's all. It's just fun. So, babe, in honor of our anniversary, today I thought we'd do something a little fun mm -hmm. and talk about what you consider or planning out or whatever, a romantic date. What would you consider a romantic date? I'll let you go first. Oh, wow. And then I'll come in and give you my idea of a romantic date. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, you get to go first. Oh, How fun. Cool, cool, cool. So tell me your idea of a romantic date. Um, I tell you, you could just have the romantic date right in the car. You know, put some good music on, and then it'd be done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't sure where he was going with that one because I was like, in the car, hold on, babe. What you trying to do? Hey, you know, I might have had something sitting in the back seat. You know, they were put together and. You know, have a little music going, and we just watch the sunset. Um, I mean, it's, that's cute. I ain't gonna knock your romantic. But... No, nah, but that's not the one. I'm oh, really okay. Going. I'm not going with that one. I'm just kidding. But at the same time, Me sounds hey, nice. if this is all we working with, this is what we got. But um, oh wow, I'm I'm trying to think. My my thing is kind of like the sunset thing. I'm kind of like an outdoors kind of guy when it comes to. This time, uh, certain times of year, I really love being outside and fresh air. And, uh, there's nothing like just uh, being able to, you know, sit in nature and just mm -hmm. hear it. And so my thing is, um, I love being in the romantic atmosphere. A lot of times my, my preference of restaurant is Cheesecake Factory. Mm -hmm. And I love how they have a lot of times the outside setting. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of times you can really enjoy that. and. Uh, they may have music playing or what have you, and uh, I love that. Uh, where it's just the intimate time of just my my spouse and myself, and um, that's my romantic part. Uh, you know, if there's some wine involved, or uh, but as long as that music is set, that sets the whole mood for everything. And uh, there's been a couple of restaurants that we've had it like that. Um, and it was it's really been a good time where we've dressed up and we've been able to just 
hang out and enjoy each other. Uh, we may not necessarily get up and dance, but you know, uh, Pompano's is another one. They have a nice uh, band and everything. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm giving a lot of kudos to a lot of good, good restaurants, you know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I love are. those that have the uh, music or the live music uh, playing and um, where we can just really enjoy each other. That's my way of uh, a romantic uh, outing. Okay. I like it. I've enjoyed all of our romantic yeah, outings, yeah, by the way. Yeah. So you you do not disappoint when you yeah. create and do yeah. something. I mean, yeah. he does. He really ensures yeah. that I have a great time, that we enjoy each other, and that it's we really feel like we're dating versus just going out and grabbing a bite to eat type of thing. It's yeah. really us dating each other. Right. And I'm truly grateful. Like I said, I'm blessed. Yeah. Blessed to have this man yeah, because... Because he's so awesome with that. He really yeah. is considerate. He really puts thought into it. And it's really, like, amazing. Yeah. All right. So if the children are in the room, ask him to leave now. <laughs> Just going to put that out there. Oh, so. my God. We have grand. So we have, you know, okay. Like, I've already gave the yeah. warning. Get nieces and nephews watching. Well, know, then like, hey, you know, have I'm them leave the room now. I, probably, I won't get too far deep no, into it, I'm but... Sorry. I'm just going to tell you what it is, and it is what it is, and you know that's just who I am when it comes to it. So my idea of a romantic date, or ones that I've done in the past, I think he liked it. He said he has, so we'll see. So I'm going to go from the beginning all the way to the end. Y'all know I like to talk, so I'm going to give it all to you from the top to the bottom. Maybe I won't get you all the way to the bottom, but at least uh, up to the bottom. Yeah, I'll give it a short version. Yeah, well, I'm going to give it the way I want to give it, now. Come on. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, first and first things first, it's going to be a surprise to him. He's not going to be aware of what I am doing. He has no inclination of any of it that I do. Next thing, because we have children, a lot of times I can try to plan that romantic thing here at the house, but that doesn't always work out. So, I'm going to go get a room. I told you to have the kids leave the room. Anywho, so I go and I'll maybe reserve a room and... Um, when it's check-in time, I'm going to go prior to us getting together for whatever we do up to this point and set the mood in the room. Um, of course, I don't believe in burning down nobody's hotel, so I'm going to use some fake candles, the tea light candles that light up or whatever, but they look pretty and kind of set the mood in the room, put some candles here and there. Men like to be pampered as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just us ladies. They like this stuff too. So I'm going to put out some rose petals on the floor. I'm going to put them on the bed, sprinkle them out, whatever, you know. Lay out our nice, cute teddies and garments that, you know, we probably won't keep on long anyway, but we're going to go and put them out. And whatever else we make, maybe some massage oil or uh, what have you. On the side of the bed, um, when, we, when we did, we used to drink um, maybe a bottle of wine on ice or uh, whatever. Got some strawberries and some fruit laid out on a platter in the center of the bed. Mind you, this is right before we get there, so it's not going to go bad. I'm being mindful. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right, so I've got that. Then I've got, um, again, like you said, got the music playing. It's all about the music sometimes. Yeah, the mood the set. Yeah. So the, the lights are down. You don't have on all the lights in the room. The lights are down. The mood is set. The music is playing. Before we get to this room, we went and we had a nice dinner. We dressed up in our best, looking very good, like we like to do. We go and have a nice meal at a very nice restaurant. Um, One that, of course, he likes, I like, and we like together. Um, But I'm thinking of him. Like, what does he like? What what hasn't he had in a while? And taking him out to eat, pampering him, Mm -hmm. getting him the things he enjoys. If the dessert is involved, we get dessert. Mm -hmm. Um, And we have a nice dinner, a nice conversation underneath candlelight at the restaurant and, you know, and just enjoying each other's time and company. And then back to the room we go to enjoy the atmosphere in the room. That's all I'm giving y'all and giving y'all no more. Y'all know the rest of it. Y'all all all grown and should know better. But yeah, that's one of my ideas of a romantic date. Yeah. What do you think? You like oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Sound yeah, good? Yeah, it sounds real good. I'll do that one time. Yeah, I'm just playing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. You like it? it sounds good, yeah. I mean. And, and you do awesome with it. You know, that's not something that we do every year. No. Um, but that is something that does come into play. 
at least once every every other year or something like that. But we do things in between too, and uh, mainly it's just that we just enjoy each other's company. So, yeah. you know, it doesn't take much. But uh, yes, my wife does the she does an awesome job in that. She just loves full of surprises in that. Yes. So way the way I plan I talked about this. It's not to say we only do this on our anniversary. Right. We like to keep um, the relationship fresh. Yeah. We like to keep it exciting and inviting. So in order to do that for each other, we, you know, we'll do things like this. The spontaneity in the relationship keeps keeps each other guessing when we don't know what the other has up their sleeve. And it makes it exciting and fun. It doesn't get stale. It doesn't get old. You know, we enjoy each other's time and company and what we're doing. Um, it may not be elaborate things every time, but the things, the little things that we do for one another is what um, kind of keeps the flame, yeah. keeps the flame lit. Um, so those teddies, ladies, they ain't just for anniversaries. Yeah. Put them on periodically and see what happens. I bet you they disappear really quickly. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> I hope you didn't bring the kids back in the room because I told you to take them out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, um, definitely keep it, you know, just doing things that your mate enjoys and yeah. thinking of them. You're considering what they enjoy. A lot of times we tend to think about, okay, I like this and I like this and I like that. But when you're planning something to um, make someone else happy, you're thinking about the things that they like, they enjoy, that they want to be a part of um, as well. So you're not just only self-thinking, you're considering others in this. So, and that keeps it, like I said, keeps each other, You keep because you're keeping your mate top of mind um, and considering them, they will, they'll do the same in return. Oh, yeah. A lot of times they'll say, thanks for doing this, babe. I say, you make it easy because A, B, C, D. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So because we, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We, uh, you know, compliment each other yeah. in those areas. The yes, we compliment each other in those areas. And it makes it so much easier for us to do the process. I know some people will be like, man, y'all got perfect relationship. I keep saying it ain't perfect. No. But we do our best to make it happy, make it healthy, make it enjoyable, and just have fun with each other and love on one another and just continue to do life together. Yeah, I mean, we'll continue to grow together. Yes. Uh, that's the biggest thing. So, you know, we're just not too far off from what we uh, expect from one another. Mm -hmm. um, and so when that's the other thing, the expectation level is understood. And we both try to meet that. Yeah. Just to peel it off of that, what you said. Man. Yeah, buddy. But yeah. Yeah. I guess I've explained my moment today. You've done what yeah, you Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've explained it. Just so, keep, go ahead. Go, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. No, just keep it fun. You know, interesting, as my wife said. And, and you know, think outside the box. Uh, brothers and sisters and ladies and men, you know, just think outside the box for, for your mates. And uh, you'll, you'll be just fine. You will. What were you going to say? I forgot. I don't I mean, know. That's why I wanted you to go back. I know, I know. Yeah. You know this brain of mine. Yeah. And so the older I get, the more the brain goes. Mm -hmm. But um, we just hope that you guys really, uh, you can utilize some of our ideas and figure out things that, you know, if you feel like the marriage has gone or the relationship has gotten, gone stale, um, just think of things that your mate likes and be sponsored. If they don't like spontaneity a lot, just kind of like do a subtle spontaneity, a spontaneous thing with them to where, you know, you still keep them guessing yeah. about, you know, the relationship. You keep them, you know, to where it doesn't get um, complacent and it becomes, um, what's the word? Stale. Not so much stale, but like they can figure you out. Um, yeah. I can't think of what I'm looking for. I'm sure it'll come back eventually, <laughs> but they know. It's routine, yo. Yeah. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in. We're gonna lay down. It's Tuesday. It's seven o'clock. We're gonna lay. Yeah. We're gonna do this. And there's no, you, you lose that that excitement of things when you do that. So you got yeah. to keep it, get keep it, keep it fresh, y'all. Interesting. Yes, keep it interesting mm -hmm. and keep it fresh. Yeah. Yes. And fun. And fun. All right, so we're not gonna be on here all night with y'all because we've got to go. We're going to get up, get dressed, and go out and have a beautiful night with one another and enjoy our anniversary. So, um, we can all say bye. See ya. See ya. It has been real. We have enjoyed you guys. Please stay safe. Right. As he says, stay safe. But yeah. thank you guys so much thank for you. watching. Yeah. And we'll see y'all next time.
Bye. See ya. Mm -hmm. Oh, look who's moving people now. Did I get it? Can I move over enough for you? Well, look at the sign. I can see the sign. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mess. That I am. <laughs> and you know you love me. I do love you. I can't breathe without you. Mm, mm. <laughs> get it, get it, go. That's why you gonna give us. That's all I'm giving. <laughs> why you gonna give us more? That's it. That's, that's all you got. That's all I can remember. Oh. You can't breathe without you. Let's sing it again. Let me hear it. You can't breathe without you. <laughs> no, you're saying it now. You're not seeing it now. Don't get shy. Don't get camera shy now. It wasn't about the camera. That's all you okay. I appreciate uh, it's it. Just, hey, do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna say that's you know. Love me. Okay. Love you. I appreciate it. Okay.